Hi friends, number 4 is survey grade 2 in the basement survey and technical education in the syllabus based tutorial class. We will start with this. We will start with this module 10 in the roads. If you are interested in the channel, you will be able to subscribe to the channel. We will start with this. 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 The area of land acquired for construction and future development of a road symmetry about the central alignment is called a right of way. Now, right of way is where we have a road to construct. Now, we have a road to future development. We have a all land area. Right of way is where we have a right of way. Next one is the formation width. The formation width is the top width of an highway embankment or the bottom width of a highway cutting excluding the side drains is called the formation width or roadway. The formation width is the roadway. One highway embankment is the top width. The other highway embankment is the bottom width excluding side drains. We call the formation width. Next to down on the carriage way. Carriage way is the portion of a road surface which is used for vehicular traffic is known as carriage way or payment. Now carriage way is payment on the road surface is a portion that we are using the vehicular traffic. Next to down on the crown on the crown on the crown on the highest point on a road surface is called crown. Now one road surface is the highest point in the crown on the crown on the crown. Next to down on the camper or cross slope. The rise of the center of a carriageway about its edges along straight portion of a road is called a camphor or cross slope. Camphor or cross slope is the road in the carriageway in the center of the rise car and form chain of the slope in the camphor or cross slope. This is the main road in the road. That is the rainwater in the rain water. We have to drain off the slope in the road. Next term is the separate road divider. The narrow continuous structure provided for dividing the two directions of a traffic flow. Traffic flow in the two directions ने divide ये तो कोड काम है नहीं, नमला कोड करना narrow height वाला एक continuous structure नहीं है ना separate वाला नहीं divide करना आ रहे ना. Next तो हमारा आ रहे ना shoulder सान, shoulder सान आ रहे ना the portion of a roadway between the outer edges of a carriageway and edges of a top surface of an embankment or inner edges of a side drains. In cutting of a road are called shoulders. So, shoulders are in the roadway is one portion. That is situated in the carriageway and outer edges. Then, side drains in the inner edges. Next term is the curves. Curves are in the boundaries between pavement and shoulders of footpath are known as curves. So, curves are in the footpath and shoulders in the pavement. That is the boundary. We curve in the curve. Next term on the side slope on the side slope on the side slope on the side slope on the side of embankment and cuttings to ensure their stability are called a side slope. Then side slope on the side slope on the road surface on the side slope 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 on the side slope. Next one on the berms on the berms on the the width of land left in between the toes of embankment and the inner edges of a barrow pit is called a berm. A berm on the embankment in the toe in the borrow pit in the inner edges in a edaki where in the land in the width in the number of berms on the rain. Next one on the classification of roads on the main and the road in the right on classify is the first one on the right based on weather on the weather and such we need to classify is the first one on the right on the first one on the right on all weather roads the second one on the right on the fair weather roads in second classification of road on the right on the based on type of carriage way or road payment road payment along the carriage way type and such we need to classify is the first one on the right on the paved roads on the paved roads an example of a young concrete roads along the bituminous roads on the paved roads an example Next one on the unpaved roads on the unpaved roads on the ethan roads along the gravel roads on the unpaved roads in the example. In the third classification of roads on the right now based on type of pavement surface. Pavement surface in a type and sense we need to undite a classification that under surface roads on the unsurfaced roads on the fourth classification of roads on the right now based on traffic volume of vehicles. Traffic volume of vehicles which is the roads in the wind moon at the class page is the first one is the heavy traffic roads. Heavy traffic roads is the first one and the per day vehicular capacity is the first one is the first one is the first one is the first one. In the second classification is the medium traffic roads. Medium traffic roads is the first one 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 is the
400 in 1000 in the next one is light traffic roads. Light traffic roads are low traffic roads. The vehicular capacity is less than 400 vehicles per day. The next classification is based on low transported or tonnage. Low transport is like tonnage. The fifth classification is the same. We have to classify class 1 or class A, class 2 or class B. We have to calculate the tonnage per day. Sixth classification of roads is based on location and function. One road in the location and function of the road in the window is classified. First one is national highway, second one is state highway, third one is major district road, fourth one is other district roads, fifth one is village roads. Next one is modified classification of road system. Modified classification of road system is the road system is the road system. First one is the primary system, second one is the secondary system, third one is the tertiary system and the rural roads. This primary system is the road system is the road system. First one is the expressway and second one is the national highway. Expressway is the high speed vehicles move in the road in the center most portion of the expressway. Next one is the national highway. National highway is the road in a country. The major and important road system is the road system. The second classification of road system is the secondary system. Secondary system is the road system is the road system. First one is state highway and second one is major district road. What is the state highway? One is the neighboring state to connect the road. The district headquarters and state headquarters to connect the road. The state highway is the road. Next one is the major district road. The major district road is the production area. The national highway and state highway is connected to the road. We call major district road. இந்த தேர்டு கலாசிவிகேசின் ஓப் ரோட் சிஸ்தும் நாரேனே தேர்ஷரி சிஸ்தும் அல்லங்கி ரூரல் ரோட் சான் ஆர் தேர்ஷரி சிஸ்தும் அல்லங்கி ரூரல் ரோட் சான் செல்த்து வீண்டும் ரோட் சென்று அண்டாய்டு கலாசிவை செய்துட்டும் அதர் டிஸ்டிக் ரோட் சொண்டு விலேஜ் ரோட் சொண்டு this is the other district road. This is the production area of the rural area. This is the outlet of the survey of the other district road. Next one is village road. The village road is the village. The group of villages is the nearest road. The district road is the village. We call it village road. Next one is the classification of urban roads other than expressway. Expressway is not the urban roads. The other classification is the same. First one is the arterial roads. Arterial roads are the city roads which are meant for thorough traffic usually on a continuous route. In the continuous route, the thorough traffic is the city roads. We call arterial roads. Next one is the sub-arterial roads. Sub-arterial roads are the city roads which provide Lower level of travel mobility than arterial roads. Arterial streets in a column, lower level of travel mobility go to city roads in a number sub arterial roads. Next one is the collector roads. Collector roads are the city roads which are constructed for collecting and distributing the traffic to and from local state. Local state lola traffic in a collected distributed to the city roads in a number of collector roads. Next one is the local state. Local state is the city roads which provide an access to residents, business and other buildings. Other buildings in him, business buildings in him, residential buildings in him, okay. Direct aid access provided in the city roads in him, and the local streets in him. Next one is the road gradient. Road gradient is the road payment in the longitudinal direction in the slope in the grade and the gradient in him. One road gradient is the dependent on the traffic in the nature, the ground in the nature, the particular locality in the rainfall is the dependent on the gradient in the road. One nature of terrain is the road gradient in the value is different. We will look at the table and we will look at the ruling gradient. The ruling gradient is the suitable gradient in the suitable gradient in the ruling gradient. Next one is the limiting gradient. Limiting gradient is the steepest title of the gradient. We call it limiting gradient. That is the maximum gradient. 
in the exceptional gradient and or another, the minimum gradient in a column corobu aricum, and the maximum gradient in a column code the laricum. Adinian, number exceptional gradient and or another. In the table noca. Plain terrain on an angle, ruling gradient in a value nor another, one in thirty aricum. Limiting gradient one in twenty aricum. Exceptional gradient on angle, one in fifteen aricum. In hills on an angle, ruling gradient and or another, one in twenty aricum. Limiting gradient and or another, one in seventeen aricum. Exceptional gradient and or another, one in fourteen aricum. In a steep terrain on an angle, ruling gradient and or another, one in seventeen aricum. Limiting gradient and or another, one in fourteen aricum. Exceptional gradient and or another, one in twelve point five aricum. E values important on the note. Thank you.